Hi there, Phil with DTF Superstore. Today we have something amazing for you. Half toning for DTF printing without Photoshop. In the interest of getting a completely free alternative, I'm using two online apps that are very powerful. They are free, but do have premium upgrades. I made these graphics using Kittle, and we're going to be using PhotoP to manipulate these and make them ready for DTF printing. Let's get started. We're going to get started with this Tesla graphic, which only took about six minutes to make because Kittle has amazing templates. Now, heading over to PhotoP.com, we're going to go ahead and make a new project. I'll set this to 300 DPI, 10 by 12 inches, and set the background to black. And create. Now we'll place our graphics by going to File, Open in Place, and then choosing our graphic. One more thing we're going to do is place this shirt texture that I made. I like to use a shirt texture over a black background when I'm previewing half tones because it gives a better understanding of what it's actually going to look like once we get another shirt. All right, with our layer selected, we're going to select all, copy, make a new layer mask, and then paste in place. That's control or command shift V. That's going to give us our image black and white in the layer mask. Option clicking the layer mask opens it up. We can open levels. And then we're going to drag the white slider to the left just to bring back some of those bright and mid tones to being closer to white. Something like that looks pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and crush the blacks just a little bit. What we're looking for here is just boosting that opacity. As you can see, when I turn this on and off, it's pretty close to the original image. Now for the part that you've been waiting for, the half tone. With the layer mat selected, first we're going to select coloring. We want to make sure that we're only applying the half tones to the low mids and shadows. So select shadows, turn the fuzziness all the way down. I'm going to bring max all the way up and we're going to slide this to the left until we start to find those areas that we want to keep, which will be represented in black here. Now I know it's a counterintuitive, but what is white here is what we are selecting and we're selecting the dark areas. So if you see inside this wing here, this is the dark area that we want to half tone. This looks pretty good. We can hit OK. Now that we have our selection, go to Filter, Pixelate, Color Half Tone. Now, there are no magic numbers. Truly, you can play around with this. And that's one of the beauties of this method. As we change these numbers in real time, it's actually going to update so we can see what's happening. Let's go ahead and zoom in and check that out. Now, I've set this to a 4 pixel radius and 27 degrees, which is the magic number for this specific image. But if I thought these half tones were too small, I can actually increase this number here. Something like six. And now we got larger half tones. This is the same as frequency in our previous half tone tutorials. The lower the number, the smaller the half tone, the higher the number, the larger the half tone. We'll stick with four for this one. Once we press OK, we can go ahead and zoom out and we'll see all of the areas that were selected are now half toned. Controller command D to deselect. And we can see our half tones starting to come in. Let's visualize that by turning off our background layer. Looking pretty good so far, but we're not done. We need to make sure that this is safe for DTF printing by getting rid of semi-transparent pixels. To do so, we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Threshold. Now, when you move this slider to the left, what's going to happen is it's going to choke the half tones, making them smaller and reducing the amount of them. If we move it to the right, it's going to expand those half tones, and it's going to make sure that they are pure black and white. There's no gray or opacity. I like that right there. 40 looks good for this image. And just like that, we've half toned the image and it's prepped and ready for DTF printing. All we need to do is save this as a PNG, rip it, print it, cure it, and press it. Now let's move on to our next example. Pedro. I'm your daddy. One we'll graphic just like we did before. Not a lot is different with this graphic than the other, except for I'm using some gradients in the layer mask in order to soften things up before we actually do the halftone. I'm going to leave the instructions on screen here. That way you can come back to this video, hit pause right here, and be able to have a step-by-step -step instruction on how to halftone without Photoshop. Now, for those of you who do have Photoshop, you could do this exact same thing in Photoshop in the exact same way. We've got some great videos coming for you soon, some more tutorials similar to this one. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. And if you guys do want to try out Kittle, get some inspiration or save some time, or just make some fun graphics like these here, there is a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.